What's up Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. If you're a returning subscriber, hi, I'm so glad that you're back. Today I have another box lunch haul. Whew, it was just box lunch money. I love box lunch money time. It's my favorite time of the year. And actually, I'm gonna be showing you two box lunch money hauls. One was from earlier in the year. Um, you probably have seen, if you're following me on Instagram at all, and I'll leave my Instagram handle here. I'd love for you to be my friend over there too. Um, but I was having kind of a hard time, a really uh, intense time at work, and I didn't have time to post a lot of videos. And one of those was my box lunch haul from Box Lunch Money last time. So I'm so excited to be able to finally share that with you guys now. And also this Box Lunch Money currently, and my Box Lunch had this new thing that I didn't even know was a thing. But you'll have to let me know down below if your Box Lunch has it, guys. A mystery box. This is a Mickey Mouse mystery box. It was $110, I know. I I had box lunch money, guys, okay? Um, we're gonna find out what's in here today and I'm so excited. But first I thought I would show you what I bought with my box lunch money. Now, um, why don't we go ahead and get right into all of the things that I purchased outside of the mystery box first. <music> I need to start with what I am wearing. So something I want to remind you guys is that when I say box lunch money, box lunch money is a coupon that you earn and that coupon is $15 off of a $30 purchase. Therefore, basically everything that I've gotten in this haul was half price, if that makes sense, uh, because I try to spend as much as the box lunch money I have, so I can get that 50% off the $15 off of the $30 purchase. So I try to be right in that area so I can use all of my coupons. Now I don't know exactly how much you have to spend to get a box lunch money coupon. If I can find that information, I'll put it down here for you or in the description box down below so you know. But everything. I got was 50% off. Now this sweatshirt was $44.90 I believe. I've been wearing it constantly. Here it is. This is a cream colored Baymax and Mochi shirt. It's got the San Francisco symbol on it and I am a humongous Baymax fan. I love Baymax so much and my cat Telly looks very much like Mochi. So anything that has Mochi on it I'm such a sucker for just because I love the two of them together. I think they're so cute. That was the first purchase. Now I I love purchasing outfits and t-shirts from Box Lunch just because I feel like they have the cutest, cutest shirts. First shirt I'm gonna start with is actually a cake worthy shirt that was on clearance at our Box Lunch in Anchorage, Alaska, by the way. I live in Anchorage, just so you guys know. We, we got a Box Lunch, I think in October of 2019. Best thing that ever happened to us. Um, so <laughs> they had a Hocus Pocus, clearanced cake worthy flannel shirt. Now cake worthy shirts are so nice but the flannel shirts are kind of a little bit expensive and I was so excited about this because I think this is going to be the cutest flannel shirt to wear during Halloween. So, firstly it has Sarah embroidered on the collar. So it was $24.99 and it was originally $49.90. It has a couple of extra buttons and then the front is just plain. There's actually no pockets, which I find, you know, I mean, that's totally fine because usually what I do with these is I wear them around my waist because they usually have a saying on the back and this saying is a muck, a muck, a muck. How cute is that? As a big Disney Parks gal, I like to go um, during the, the fall and winter times, especially around the Halloween parties for both Disneyland and Disney World. And so this is definitely gonna be really nice for me to take with me for those times. So um, I got that. And then they had another new cake worthy shirt that just really spoke to me. I'm not a big Beauty and the Beast collector. I love the film, but I just don't collect 
Beauty and the Beast as much as I probably should. Um, it's, it's definitely a really highly ranked movie in my eyes. I just don't collect it. <laughs> And also, I'm never really drawn to any of the merchandise for some reason. But anyway, um, I saw this and I had to have it. It's their all over print, cake worthy Beauty and the Beast t-shirt. And I'm going to do a close up and show you because I specifically got a placement. So for all over print tees, the best part about buying them in store is that the characters will be in different places on the shirt. And you want to get like, I always want to get like my favorite character right in the chest area so it's really prominent when I um, see the t-shirt in the mirror or when other people see the t-shirt. So let me show you a little close up. Now I loved this because it's Provincial Belle. Like how often do you see merch with Provincial Belle? So we got Provincial Belle. I love that they have Beast when he is in his cape. I my Purple is my favorite color. This is my favorite Beast look. I think he looks so cute and handsome with he's like he's like shirtless and look at those trap muscles and he's kind of grumpy and angry we're here for that mrs potts and chip cogsworth and then lumi oh there's lumiere and then provincial bell isn't this so cute and it's got a purple collar and yeah so here it is this is going to be such a cute little outfit i hope to wear this to to the be our guest restaurant for breakfast because i feel like i have a really unpopular opinion because i love be our guest breakfast i love that you can get like all you can eat pastries i love that you can get unlimited coffee i don't know why but i really like breakfast there do you guys like to eat there do you prefer i mean the thing about breakfast is you can't meet the beast but you can come back at night and meet the beast if you have your receipt. Fun fact. I think people don't like the breakfast just because it, the price is pretty high. But I always look at it like, okay, I'm going on vacation. Like, I'm okay with spending like $30 for breakfast like one time during my trip, just once. And usually that time will then, I mean, you eat so much because unlimited pastries that like you don't need lunch. So it's kind of like a, a brunch or like a blunch as I like to call it. Um, anyway, moving on, this shirt was so cute. I have this shirt in Princess and the Frog form, but when I saw that it was in Oliver and Company, I'm like, okay. So this is so cute. It's like a crop and it's horizontal stripes, but what I love about it is it's embroidered. So let's take a moment and like, can we just talk? Oliver is in the center of the V. He looks so adorable. It says Oliver and Company. And I just have been really digging embroidered shirts. If you haven't seen my most recent vintage Disney haul, I'll link it above and down below for you guys. But oh my gosh, I got this also for Princess and the Frog. And that was supposed to be in this haul, but it's actually in my laundry. So I'm going to pop an image of it up here so you guys can see it. And this shirt was $28.90. Princess and the Frog shirt was also $28.90. Just wanted to clarify that. But yeah, I've been wearing this and my princess and the frog shirt so much i've been on such a tea on a kick lately and i am not mad about it like i have been watching that movie over and over again like i'm a little girl it's so funny moving on i got a really fun all over print t-shirt that is just a box lunch t-shirt i thought it was cake worthy at first just because of the stylization of it but let's take a look at it i got this in a 2x because it runs really small and also really short which is kind of odd but it says the girls and it's got Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck on little hearts. Aren't they so cute? And this is an all over print shirt. But what I wanted to do with this, I wanted to pair this with my Loungefly mini backpack. That is Daisy Duck. And I wanted to wear mom jeans and then I want to tie it up around my waist. So it's a little bit of a shorter shirt. So that's why I got it in a little bit larger size, but is this so cute? It just, these colorations of Minnie and Daisy were like 90s vibes. When I was a little girl, I had tons of posters in my room of Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse and Daisy and Donald and the whole gang, and they, they were all in pastel outfits. Like it was very prominent in the early 90s to have like that type of coloration for Disney, and I am like, this is my childhood right here and I actually have a really cute 
plastic necklace that I had as a child that is this color of Minnie Mouse with that same bow that I probably will wear with this outfit. So be on the lookout. Maybe I'll post it on my Instagram page if you guys aren't following me. It's at Miss Jessie Cherry, but oh, love that shirt. Now these next two shirts are brand new. I am a huge Fantastic Beasts fan. I know Fantastic Beast is not everyone's favorite. It's okay, it's my favorite. Someone has to be that guy, I'm that guy. And I apologize for that and I'm sorry that if you don't like that. Um, <laughs> but also not sorry, cause I love it. <laughs> You'll have to let me know down below if you're a Fantastic Beast person um, and also what your favorite beast is. I mean, I love a Niffler. I love a bow truckle. <sighs> what else do I love? I mean, probably my ultimate favorite is a Thestral. Yeah, my ultimate favorite is a Thestral. Anywho, they had the coolest shirt that was Fantastic Beast. And this is the Kowalski Bakery Fresh Baked Bread shirt. And I died. I It was one of those where I was like, I walked by it and I did it like a double take. Like, is that seriously what that is? And then I was like, where's my son? Not a question. Guys, okay. So it says, Kowalski, baked, Kowalski Bakery, fresh baked bread. Then it's got a bow truckle, a niffler, a demiguise, got a flooper and a grumpet, and look at all of the baby nifflers. But these all show up in uh, the Kowalski based Bakery at the end of the first film. And um, oh, I just love that part of the film. I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but basically, he doesn't know where all of his... <laughs> he doesn't know where all of his um, inspiration comes from for these little guys. Um, yeah, because they erase his memory. And it's just such a cool part of the film. And I just thought this shirt was too cool. It's definitely one of those shirts that like you have to know the film and understand the characters and what it means to really appreciate it. But I am so here for that. And this guy was also $28.90. I'm on a really big Beauty and the Beast kick. I don't know why, <laughs> but I have a second Beauty and the Beast shirt, which is actually very surprising. But it was just so cute. <laughs> this is the Be Our Guest Mrs. Potts shirt. Now this was created for their Mother's Day line and they actually have a little kids version of this shirt that says Be Our Guest and it's got chip on it which is just adorable. I don't have kids but I loved this shirt and thought it was so pretty so let me give you a close-up. It's got this like really beautiful floral and then it says Be Our Guest and it's got Mrs. Potts. It's a unisex t-shirt. I got it in an extra large, which now I'm thinking I may have, should have gotten a large, but um, I still think it's gonna be really cute to wear. Maybe I'll wear it to bed as well. And this one was $28.90. Now, I would say I would wear that to be our guest breakfast. However, I don't love wearing gray to the parks because I'm always sweaty and it is just not cute to wear like this gray shirt when you're sweaty. It's just not cute. I got two other items from box lunch that are outside of the mystery box. So the first item is a box lunch exclusive pop Funko figurine. I said that wrong again. I'm so sorry. Every time I say, every time I'm supposed to say Funko pop, but my brain says pop Funko, I just inverse them. There are some people that have like messaged me some really horrendous things for me saying it backwards. And it's just like my brain, cannot say it the right way. So I apologize, I cannot say it very well. This is a pop figurine, how about that? <laughs> and this is a Winnie the Pooh pop fi figurine that is Winnie the Pooh as a bee. Now, I'm not an in-box collector, so I'm gonna take him out to show you how adorable he is. Now, I got this because I like to do a Halloween display, and I thought, because Winnie wears this to Halloween, that this would be so cute to display on my Halloween shelf and air Area when it comes oh my time. goodness how flipping precious is he like is he the freaking cutest look at his antennas I am dead he is just too cute now I'm a big 
Um, I like Funkos that are not people. So any Funkos that are animals, I really enjoy. I'm not a big fan of people Funkos. I've talked about that before. But anyway, he's got his little wings, his little booty, and he is just precious. Now they have come out with a lounge fly bag that is a Funko version of Winnie the Pooh in his bee costume, which is super duper cute. I personally don't, did not want the bag, but I did think the figurine would be a really great addition to my Halloween decor. So I ended up getting him and he was $12.90. Now moving on to a non-Disney item, but I saw this and just thought it was so cute and I needed to spend a couple of more dollars to use my final coupon. And this is a, what do they call it? It's a cat versus pickles cat. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? So I thought he looked very business-like. So at work, I like to have a lot of fidget toys because I am on conference calls a lot and I need like something to distract me and keep me focused, if that makes sense. I need something to fidget with, basically, is what I'm saying. This is like made of the softest velvet and it's got... <laughs> It's got a cat and a pickle <laughs> on the back, like in a heart on his butt. And he is Mr. Argyle. That is his name. And he's got like little nerd glasses. And I was like, well, he's a business cat. Like he's perfect for me to have it work to fidget with while I'm on phone calls. So I thought he was money well spent. And now it's time, you guys. Are you ready for the mystery box? I'm ready, but I'm so nervous. Okay, let's just, okay. Oh, I'm seeing shirts right on the top. Okay, so the first shirt I'm pulling out is, oh, it's an extra small. That's not gonna work for me. Um, maybe I can pass this along to someone. Oh, that's really cute. It says patience. Good things are worth waiting for. So here's what it is. And it's got Mickey Mouse as a chef. And it's got lots of little um, symbols of some sort of language. Side, it's got like little takeout containers and like a Mickey Mouse fortune cookie, like all the way down. Oh, that's super cute. Now, I so this is definitely something I'll have to pass along to someone else. Ooh, okay, first item I'm not loving. I feel like if they put sizes, something that's sized, they should put that on the outside of the box. Um, okay, next we have a sweatshirt. It's extra small. Oh, this is really cute too. It says Mickey and it is just a plain blue sweatshirt. And I like that as well. It says established in 1928, worth $44. Okay, so a lot of the value in this were in those two items because that was over half of the value in those two items that I would never, like maybe my thigh might be able to fit into. Ooh, box lunch. It better start getting better, that's all I gotta say. Okay, I don't have any more items that are apparel. What we do have is a Mickey Mouse suede, what is this? Oh, is this a lounge fly? Oh, we have, oh, that's interesting. Oh, cute. Okay, this is fun. Okay, so, sorry. <laughs> we have a lounge fly wallet that's very Animal Kingdom-esque. Let me do a close up for you guys. This is a good item, I'm happy about this item. Okay, so here it's got like a little paw print, leopard. And then as you open it, there's like hidden Mickeys and paw prints. Doesn't this look so much like an Animal Kingdom wallet? This is kind of cool. It's got like where you can put a card right in the front. And then look at the back. It's got Mickey Mouse and Pluto racing a leopard. Isn't that interesting? I think they actually had a full Loungefly mini backpack that matched this, if I remember correctly. This was originally $39.90, and this was $31.99 on clearance. So that's kind of cool. That's better. Moving on, we have a Happy Socks gift pack. And, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this looks like, if anyone is old enough to remember, it looks like a VHS tape. 
Do you see like it has the packaging that looks like an old school VHS tape? Okay. And then you open it. Oh, cute. Ooh, oh my gosh. You know what? I bet Jesse would love these. Oh, these are nice. Okay, so these are like Mickey Mouse socks. So it says Happy Socks. Disney and Happy Socks join forces to celebrate the birth of pop culture, starting with Disney's most iconic character, Mickey Mouse. Set in the 1980s, the era when home entertainment finally became a reality with this animated collection lets you stay tuned to yourself. It's showtime. Cute. Okay, that makes sense. And these socks are between uh, men's size 8 to 12, which I think Jesse is an 11 and a half. So I think that these will fit him really well. And also Jesse loves the color pink and I see there's a pink Mickey in there. But look at the coloration. Isn't that so fun? So here they are. One's got shoes and pants and hands and the other just has all different types of Mickey Mouse faces. Those are, and they're like the same on both sides. These were $16.99, so, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have this. This is a fragrance and it says Mickey Mouse True Original Fragrance. And, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's do a close-up to you guys. Okay, so here it is. It says Disney's True, Disney True Original, and it says a fragrance by Mickey Mouse. Isn't that packaging so pretty? It looks like a really fancy book. And then here's the information on the back. So it says, oh, it just says, like, the ingredients don't, <laughs> do not spray this in your eyes, guys. And then here is what the fragrance looks like. Let's take it out, and let's also smell it. Okay, so here is what the bottle looks like. It's really pretty with like gold and Mickey Mouse. Ooh, oh, that's a really nice smell. That's like a um, fresh scent. It's definitely not heavy at all. It's very spring-like. I'm really horrendous at explaining scents, so if I can find the notes, I'll definitely put them here for you. Um, that's probably why I'm not good at cooking. Like, I just can't identify tastes and smells. <laughs> Let me know down below if you can relate. Um, anyway, um, honestly, I did not like that mystery box at all. I'm so disappointed that I got two shirts that were the majority of the value that are not even close to being able to fit me. So mm, not loving that. Um, you'll have to let me know down below if your box lunch has these mystery boxes and if you've gotten one, what you think of it. And also, I would love to know what you guys got with your box lunch money. I had so much fun showing you guys what I got and I hope that you enjoyed it too. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe down below. So, so much Disney content is headed your way. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. TTFN, bye.